we're going to learn how to make pom-poms with a homemade pom-pom maker. So what you're going to need is some cardboard. And I'm using a ball canning rim because this is, whoops, this right here is how big your pom-pom is going to be. So that's about how big I want my pom-pom to be. And then you need a smaller circle for in the center. And I'm using a water bottle cap. So let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is take your bigger circle and you're going to want to trace it out twice. So just like that, and you're going to want to do two of them. So now all you want to do is cut out your two circles. So once you have them both cut out, you're going to take your smaller circle and you're going to want to trace that in the middle of your bigger circle. So trace that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I mean the other circle. So now I have my two circles with my other circles in the middle. So what we're gonna do is how we're gonna cut that out is we're gonna have these two lines. We're gonna draw two lines down. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then, so we're gonna put both the pieces of cardboard together and we're gonna cut that out. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky. And if you wanna do one at a time, you can. Um, my scissors are pretty heavy duty, but this circle's pretty small. So we're gonna do one at a time. Cut your circle out. Probably might even be easier with smaller scissors, but the only smaller scissors I have are for my yarn and fabric, and I'm not going to use those on paper or on cardboard. All right, so this is what it's going to look like. And then you just do the same thing with your other one. So I'm just going to use it as a guide. And we'll cut it out on the other side. Do, 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 do. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so now we have these two like circles with a hole. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your yarn and start wrapping. All right, so here's my yarn. And you wanna start like at the end here. You want two of the, both of the cardboard pieces together. This is gonna be a little bit tricky because you gotta get your hand in there. So, what I'm doing is holding a piece with my thumb and then I'm just wrapping. And you want to wrap this as many times as you think, you know, you're going to need to make it as thick as a pom-pom as you need. So I'll come back and show you when I'm all done wrapping my yarn. And you're just going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until you think that you have enough yarn on here to make your pom-pom. I want mine pretty big, so I am going to wrap for quite a while. Um, so I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me, but so once it's all done and wrapped up, I'll show you what the next step is, but just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping around in here and around. So once you have it wrapped around, um, you're gonna cut the yarn, just like that, cut it. And then with small scissors, 
you're gonna get in between this two, get in between here, the two pieces and start cutting your yarn. Now you wanna be careful that it doesn't come out the center. So I kind of keep my finger in there to keep it in there. And then we're just gonna cut. And this could be tricky depending on your scissors. Um, and you wanna make sure you're in between the two pieces of cardboard. And you just keep cutting and make sure it doesn't fall in the middle. And just keep cutting. And these scissors really stink. So I'm going to try a bigger pair. So you're just going to do that all the way around. Make sure that they're not falling through. So like I said, I keep my thumb or one of my fingers in the in the center here. All right, so my pom-pom is all cut all the way around. And then I still have all these gently here. So you're going to cut a piece of yarn. And now this next step is a little bit tricky. So what we need to do is get this piece of yarn in between the two layers. So we're going to stick the yarn in here and in here. So watch. So stick it in here. This is kind of tricky to get it in the middle here. Okay, so I got it in the middle. See, here it is. And you're gonna take it and pull it up here. Pull it up and tie a knot on the top here, really tight. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it one more time, just for safe measure. In between the two pieces of plastic, I mean cardboard. Up to the top again. And we're going to tie another knot. And again, pull it tight. Now, we should be able to take these pieces of cardboard out. And now, all you have to do is just cut it. You know, cut the little flyaway pieces, obviously. And then you can attach it to your blanket or hat or whatever it is that you need this pom-pom for. And that's it. There's your pom-pom. And then this can be reused again. Thanks, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I made this for a baby blanket. Um, if you follow me on, on my other social media, um, I did this baby blanket. And I'm going to attach a pom-pom to the four corners. So stay tuned for that on my social media. Thanks. Bye.